Uh, here in uh, northeastern Pennsylvania, in the Scranton area, we are being deluged with you New Yorkers coming in, <laughs> pushing your way in here and carrying the virus with you. And we are very alarmed about that. But I mean, these are New Yorkers who own property, uh, who have second homes in your area or what? Well, some of them do. And others are just uh, taking up camp in uh, motels and hotels and yeah. wherever they could find a spot to camp out. I mean, it's yeah. it's it's a inundation now, uh, and uh, the population, the native population here, uh, us Hicks in northeastern yeah. Pennsylvania, <laughs> don't like you pushy New Yorkers pushing your way in here. Well, you know, we had an issue like that here in a couple of counties up here in New York, yeah. where they were saying that uh, you know, if if you have a second home, don't come up here. Right. Uh, but I mean, I think that's ethically. Uh, wrong in the sense that we we ask these downstaters uh, as we call them to come up during the summer to you know play in our our festivals and go you know visit our farms and all that come up here to ski in the winter and now when this you know stuff hits the fan we're telling them to uh stay away i think well, that's you know, wrong i think I that's don't wrong buy, i don't buy the logic of that argument kent because you know that's like saying you know you may be carrying a deadly disease so to escape your area where it's rampant, you bring it into a new, new area and endanger a whole new population. I mean, how ethical is that? No, I'm not saying people, I'm not saying that if you have the virus, you should come up here. I'm saying that if you don't have it, if you don't have any symptoms, come on up. And, uh, you know, uh, I, I think the, our obligation up here is to let the downstaters know that we don't have, you know, we have smaller, less facilities, health facilities. And you'll have to take your chances in terms of that. But I think to not say that it's very hypocritical to say that uh, when times are bad, don't show up. And, right, and so again, these saying, people, are, they're paying property taxes. They're paying school taxes. So what you're saying is that if you don't have it, but how do you know if you have it or not? Well, that's and, it. Well, you, know, you don't know. You don't know. OK, well, that's, that's true. It. So in other words, they're taking a chance on endangering a whole new set of, of people in, in a different state. Well, what, Ken, what Ken, you, you know, I, I, think that you're, I think that you're a liberal Democrat, but you sound now like a, like a rock-ribbed Republican, bottom-line politics, why, why, why? profits, profits, why? business. No, I'm not saying profits. I'm just saying what's fair, what's ethical. I'm not saying so much for profits. Well, but I mean, you, what, what, what do you want to do? You want to just close them off and put up a wall and say, hey, you can't come to Pennsylvania or you can't come to your area? A lot of people in this area are arguing that the borders should be closed, as they've already done in several states in uh, Rhode Island, yeah, uh, yeah. where they're not allowing out-of-staters to come in. To me, that makes sense. I mean, you know, it's not a matter of you know, your own property and all that. I mean, you know, that's like saying that if you have an investment in a company that's um, – what, manufacturing bioweapons to destroy the United States, that we should let you continue to invest because, after all, you know, that, that's your money. Yeah. I mean, to me, the logic breaks down here. Yeah, I hear you. I, I mean, mean plus, you know, if, if, if there's testing units in place yeah. where a New Yorker wanted to go either to your area upstate or into Pennsylvania in my area, yeah. Uh, yeah. if they're tested ahead of time and, and they don't test positive, fine. But those test kits are not in place yet. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. All right. Well, and have by the to... way, Kent, you know, right. I know we're buddies and all that, but I do not want you camping out on, on my property here or in my house. <laughs> well, listen, a, 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 as close as we are, Kent, I draw right. the line there. All right. Well, listen, we'll have to talk tomorrow and I'm going to get in the car now and drive to Pennsylvania. <laughs> we'll be I'll waiting. See you for in, I'll see you in a few hours. <laughs> we'll have armed guards with you. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>